Hello everybody. Uh, this video is going to be a video that does some very, very basic preliminary button setting on the Spooky. And the reason why I want to do this is because I want to be able to show people how the plasma ball works. And in order to do that, they have to be able to set their Spooky up uh, manually. And so I'm going to do a very simple preliminary introduction to how to start setting the spooky up manually so I can walk you through if you call because you're having a problem some really nice uh, things to know about walk you through some nice things to know about about your plasma ball your plasma ball is way more powerful than I've let anybody know about um, I mean you think you have to have a, sp a spooky central with um, quite a bit of uh, dollar investment there and so forth you can do things with a you can do things with a toy plasma ball that's been modified I call it a toy because they're very inexpensive and they were basically originally the three inch ones the four inch ones were basically toys these little bit bigger ones are more decorative but regardless you can do things that are just unimaginable so we got to start by teaching you how to or showing you how to set up the spooky in some very basic ways. I'm going to turn the spooky on. Hopefully the camera will autofocus on everything. Uh, I can see it searching. Now everybody's going to turn your spooky on. It's going to come up with different numbers. Um, very poor autofocus. I hope I can get that to sync a little bit better. And turn off the light. Turn on the light. Make it go in and search. Um, come on, come on, come on. You were so good a few seconds ago. Yeah, we're getting better. Getting better. Okay, we're, we're, we're close. I'm going to leave that like that because that's a nice clear focus as I see it. And we're going to talk about how to control your spooky. And if we get to doing this over the phone or via Skype or uh, FaceTime, an Apple FaceTime uh, video communication link. Uh, I'd like you to have your spooky already there. So the first thing I want to do is talk about the very center line between the two windows, the channel one window and the channel two window. It says OK, and it's got an arrow, and it says out, on, off. That's sort of like the home base. That's like, and that's like when you, you, you want to start down from some particular point. You want to start from the starting position, not halfway through a procedure. You want to start from the very beginning. When you see that OK and that right arrow and the out on off, you are pretty much at the starting position. So I, I would like to set up channel one. Regardless of what your spooky is set up at right now, um, we're going to change the settings. This is where mine was when I first turned it on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit channel one. That is the F2 button. And it brings focus to channel one where I can now select the wave type, the frequency type, amplitude type. You can see my pointing down. Or I have some other options under the arrow, which is basically a next option. First thing I'd like to do is set up the wave. So I'm going to hit the F2 button, wave. And if I turn my knob right now, you can see I can change to different wave types. And the only reason why I can do that is because this F4 button right here says that it is in normal mode. And you're saying, no, it doesn't. It says it's in arbitrary mode. No, that's where it will go if I press it. If I press the F4 button, it goes into arbitrary mode. And notice the wave pattern. It turned to rather a bunch of squigglies. That means it's in arbitrary mode. If I press the F4 button again, when it says normal, it says it will return it to normal mode. Um, so now it's in normal mode, and that's where I can switch it just to a triangle, sine wave, or square wave. There we go, square wave. I'm happy where it's at now with the square wave. I'm going to say one other thing. You've got a select button called the F3 button. If I press that, you notice how the, the wave triangle changes? It's just another way without using the knob. You can use a button to walk through the three options you have. I'm going to leave it at a square wave and we're going to move on. The next thing I'd like to do is hit the return button, F1, see the return, 
And that brings me back to the wave option, the frequency, and the amplitude option. I want to change the frequency now, so I'm going to hit the F3 button. And between the F3 button, the dial, and um, these guys here, these arrows, I can position the cursor and set any frequency I want. For example, if I hit the right cursor, you see how that little green highlight is moving left and right? I'm hitting the, the opposite arrow right now. I want to change that to 30,000. But before I do that, I want to point out something else. You have a MHC and a UHC. That's U stands for micro. The F3 is stands for micro. Watch when I hit the F3 button. Look what happened to the decimal point on the frequency button. It changed to, in this case, to be right next to the 10. If I hit the MHC, which stands for megahertz setting, see where the decimal point changed to? It changed to um, just before the last two zeros. We want to be in the megahertz setting. So we're already there. I want to dial in 30. 40, not 30. Okay, I got 30 hertz in there now. And the next thing I'd like to do is show you how to change the amplitude. Well, you can do it a couple of ways. You can hit the return key, and you notice now you get this word amplitude coming back for the F4. Or, let's say I was just in the frequency mode. I'm going to go back to frequency mode. I can hit this button down here called the next button, the F5 key. And watch where that green highlight jumps to. It jumps down to the amplitude um, setting. Right now, mine happens to be set for 5. 5 is fine. Just so I can show you, I can turn it. And if I wanted to change it to 7.5, for example, I'd have to use my right arrow and move that little highlight, and I could change, dial in 7.5 now. Uh, 7.6, 7.5. Well, actually, I can't because the resolution, it won't let me. That's interesting. I can get to 7.48, close enough. But in reality, I think I'm going to go back to 6. So I'm going to dial that back down to 0 and move my button over here back down to 6. I like that number. I'm going to hit the next button, the next button, which is the F5 button, and see where the highlight went? It went to the area where I can adjust my offset. I can adjust it from anything I want, from 0 to plus 100, minus 100. It's at a minus 100. Here's plus 100. Or I can move the arrow and... I can make it some fraction, 80, 70, 60, yeah, whatever I feel like doing. I'm going back to 100. That's where I want this to be set for doing a plasma uh, demonstration. I'm going to come down with the next button, F5, and look where the cursor jumped to. It jumped to the duty cycle. And I'm going to set that to 25. So. I would like you to do this. I would like to get your Spooky set up in, with these settings. I'm showing you how to do it. When we uh, go into either another video or we're talking by phone and I'm showing you how to um, fire up your plasma ball and I'm teaching you about your fire plasma ball, I'm setting up some preliminaries. I'm showing you how to set up some preliminaries right now. Um, I like all the settings I see in channel one right now. I don't have to ch touch the P, which is, I'll just hit the next button. You'll see where the cursor jumps. It jumps over to the P window. That's for a phase. Zero, zero, zero is perfect. If I come over here and hit the F2 button, I'm going to switch the cursor down to the channel two section, and it'll pop up in the phase section. See where it popped up? It popped up down in the P, down at the bottom pointing to it right now, down right there, right there. I'd like to do the same thing. I want to make sure that I have a square wave and so forth. So if I hit the next button, where do you think this, where do you think that highlight's going to go? It jumped up to the wave section. Isn't that cool? And again, if you see the word arbitrary, that means you're in normal mode. That means if you hit the F4 button, it'll go to arbitrary, but you're in the normal mode. And I'll, I'll just hit the F4 button, I'll show you. You just went to arbitrary mode, and, and look at the wave pattern. It's all sort of like squiggly. Let's go back to normal mode by hitting the F4 button. And, and normal, mo uh, normal mode allows me to select one of three normal settings. Triangle, sawtooth, 
and sine wave. And I can get there either with the knob or by hitting the F3 button. See, now I'm hitting the F3 button and I'm selecting the three different possibilities. I'm going to stop at sine wave. I'm going to set up a frequency and notice the frequency right now is all zeros. And the same deal, I'm going to go back to the return button. And it went back, you'll notice the highlight went back to the wave. And I'm going to select F3, which is the frequency button. And I'm going to dial in, I'm going to dial in a very low number because I want to use a flicker rate that is very visible to see. And a nice visible flicker rate is 2. And I don't mean really flicker, I mean a gating, um, an on and off. This, so what, what I'm going to be using this 2 for, I'm going to turn something on and off 2 times a second. What do you think I'm going to turn on and off 2 times a second? The plasma ball. You got it, the plasma ball. I'm going to use the next button, F5, and 10 is perfect. I, I like 10 uh, for setting. I'm going to hit the F5 button again. Look where it jumped to. It jumped over to the offset, which is already 100. I like that. And I'm going to jump to the duty cycle by hitting the next button and jump to the duty cycle. And I'm going to force that to 50. I can dial it in or I can hit this magic button F3, and it'll go to 50% automatically. There it is at 50%. I now have the spooky set up. I just went through it button by button. And if you could get your spooky to that point, we have a starting position for demonstrating the plasma ball. So that'll be the end of this first video. Uh, 11 minutes and change, almost 12 minutes. And thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for some more uh, spooky control of the plasma ball.